I'm not. I'm me and I'm not. If David's not coming home, I'm not going to school, I'm not taking the bus, I'm not doing anything until he comes home. David's never coming back, Sarah. There's just nothing we can do to bring him back. I don't want to hear anymore. And I'm not going to school, I'm, I'm not going swimming, I'm not doing anything. coming home. Honey, listen. Please, listen. He isn't ever coming home. When you die, you don't come home anymore. I don't care. I don't care what you say. Why isn't he coming home? Because he's dead, Sarah. That's why. Because he's dead. And there isn't a thing that we can do about it. Where is Dad? Where do you go? Amanda's hair is longer than mine. Oh, yeah, but yours is really growing. Yours is going to be just as long as hers, you know it. Well, 
If hers is growing too, then hers will still be longer. Than no, mine. it won't either. You, you, look, you've almost got a ponytail right here. Maybe we could put it up right now. Will I ever see David again? No. Not, not like you used to, Sarah. No. Not like you see me. Hey, you know what? What? You'll see him in your mind. And you'll remember him. And that's kind of part of what happens when you're not alive anymore. You begin to live in a different way. And you... You... You change into... A, a memory. What's that? What's a memory? Do you see that drawing over there, Sarah? Mm-hmm. Do you remember when you did that? Oh, yeah, when Grandpa gave me that new paint set for my birthday when I was five. Great. Well, that's a memory. Just remembering something? Mm-hmm. Like that time that you and Daddy and David. And I went to the circus and that clown, that clown shook your hand. Remember that? And he gave me a balloon. Right. And he put his funny hand on David's head. <laughs> well, that's a memory. And when you, and when you're not alive anymore, Sarah, change into a memory. So. If it's a memory. see him in my mind whenever I remember. Can you do that too, Grandpa? I can. I can. In my mind, in my imagination, and in my heart. You're right, Sarah. That's where David is now. Do you feel better if you when you have a memory to remember? Well, sometimes, but they don't always help us, you know. Help us? You know, like sometimes when you feel all alone, you can remember all the wonderful times you had with David. And sometimes memories can help. 
they don't really change anything. He can't bring him back. David's dead, and we just have to accept it. And he's never, never coming back. That's what makes it so hard, Sarah. That's what makes us so angry and scared. Are you still scared, Grandpa? Uh-huh. Me too. It's okay, honey. We're all scared. But if we talk to one another and hold on to each other, maybe we won't be so scared. It's okay to cry. She cries a lot. What's that? David's trophy. May I see it? No. Want to play with my new clay set? Okay. I'm going to turtle in the hamburger. <laughs> I'm going to make a spaghetti dinner <laughs> and an uh, elephant. And a sea servant. <laughs> <laughs> How come it's okay to cry? Because it helps get your feelings out. What does that mean? I don't know. Hey, look what I made. It's a turtle. <laughs> I never saw a blue horse before. Oh, so I love to be a dog. I wish David was here. Then we could have a puppy show. David is never, never coming back, Amanda. I know that. Look what I made. I made a puppet. Hello, Sarah. How are you today? Hello, puppet. What is your name? My name is Peppy. <laughs> if you get lonesome for David, you can just remember something he did. You can get a memory. And then you won't be so lonesome anymore? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> 